trip is what we're going to do an ultra squid. And the first thing we need to do is rig the hook. An ultra rig completed, tubing braid, a little protection tubing over the point of the hook. Let's put the cone on on the braid first. Drop it down, give that a little kiss, and then go down through the eye. Back through the eye of the cone, and then slip the cone on the shank. Slide it forward. Get the most rig set. First things first, some ripple flash, orange. This is going to be primarily an orange fly. This gets tied in right in the very back. Come on. Three good turns, three or four, and then it turns out. Bar, are you thinking of circular ones? I like those circular ones. These tend to collapse a little too easy. I like them. Yeah, you can borrow that one. I've got that stuff. Four. Just right on top. down and we're going to use some ultra eyes. They're generally cut pretty uniform. In this case they're perfect. I'm just going to give them a little flattening here on the end. Placed a thread right. Um, and we'll tie these in right here on the side. Notice how it's curved out. Same thing on the other one. Side, anchor down. Okay. So make it little pink eyes. And we'll do 
do a little beard with this. I think we'll go with this little batch of onions, right? Take this little batch. Take my sharpie. I'm just gonna do a little modeling. Yeah. Okay. And this will go right here, just covering the hook, right centered on top. position here. We're going to add <coughs> grizzly ackle. These are grizzly saddles, same length, one off each side. Um, really like grizzly for just about everything. Contrasts nicely. Match these two up. Check length. I like it to be roughly twice as long. Make this one a little right in here, strip them, separate, Put to this side first, I'm tying them across the shank, pinch them into position, anchor them down, and then pull them forward, so they tip forward and towards me, kent it out, anchor that, let's cut this off, do the opposite side. Same process. Crossed. Pop it out. Okay. And soon I'll put a tinsel body on here. A little. Now you could put flash and whatnot right in here if you'd like. That's where I like to station it, is right off the sides of those. I'm not putting flash on this one for a reason. Um, where's that going? Oh, right here. A little pearlescent braid. And we're just going to cover up this last little section here. Nice little separation, threads halfway up. Now we'll add our rubber legs. These are mediums. Very stuck together. We're going to go two on each side. And in this case, I'm making them the same color, but you could easily mix, mix and match, like a pink with an orange, or whatever. Okay, so we'll go on this side first. It's just wrapping the, straddling the thread, put it directly on the side, just below where you tied in the wing. So it kind of sits on the belly of the fly where the wings would sit up above, okay? And notice I'm not tying them back, I'm just tying them down and split. It's because I want that forward effect of that forward leg. We don't want to capture these legs. Same thing on the other side. Good right there. A couple runs through the middle. 
we'll go forward right in front of it. And then we'll take this mess, put it back here onto the magnet. Okay, and then we'll add another dubbing loop right here. This one needs to be 5 6 inch loop because we're putting the shoulder and the hackle in here. Run this forward. A little dubbing wax, keep the stash back there. And now we'll move down here and do a composite loop. Okay, so we're going to build the forward shoulder and the forward hackle. And the first thing we need is dubbing. The first thing we're going to do is assemble this forward shoulder. Just a nice little pinch. And let's get the length dealt with. Just fold it over in my fingers. And with the length of this, I'm going to cut it in half. Spread that out, cross the forward station up into the back station area so we can fold that over. So, a little EP brush or any brush you choose, or as a filler in this case, this is a um, Fin Raccoon um, chromatic brush, one of Greg Senyo's. I'm just going to cut a good inch and a quarter off the braid. Collect the ends, and then I like to come out here and just remove any of the extra long guard hairs. And then we're going to lay that on that dubbing, 80-10. 80% on this side, 10 over here, just slight overhang. Then we're going to go for some of the predator wrap. And this happens to be a red and black comes off as kind of pink and black with a nice little orange hue. So I'm going to take yeah, I mean, a quarter off the grave. Set that aside. So taking it thumb and forefinger, just collect all the scraps that come off. Let's check. Length, want to be right about there. Cut it free. Switch hands. Spread it out. And we'll lay this on here like 60 40. natural for this fly. I really like natural ostrich. Okay. These are all really nice tips up here. So we'll take another inch and a quarter ish. Pop the stem. You can check the length on the flyer, you can check the length down here. And there's the back shoulder folded in half, so be half that size. Roughly half the length of the fly once it's 
spun in the loop, so that'll do right there. Cut off the extra. Chance. If you need to, you can use the toothbrush to spread these out nice and even. Place them on the card. Tips, and in this case, I'm going to use this extra to cover up the ends and fold this over. Okay, forward hackle, forward shoulder. You ready to come back up here? Okay, so put a little wax back here to keep it back there. We can finish the wax up, go all the way up. Not too much. We'll put the forward shoulder in. You notice I'm using these two fingers to hold the loop, control the loop, Just widen that up, stick that in there. The same center line it was on the card. And then we'll do the forward hackle. Roughly the same center line as it was on the card, and that's what you get. Okay, dubbing tool. Now I tend to crock it over here at 90 degrees, gives this a good hard spin, and then chase it up the thread. Okay. The first move would be just a little bit of pick with the picking tool, get all the super trap stuff so we don't break anything or pull stuff out with the, with the brush. We're going to use the EP brush and beat it up. Really get after it. Make sure everything's picked out. Everything that wants to be in the party is there. Everything not worthy gets picked out. Both directions a little bit. You can see I've picked her right back down to the thread. So you don't have any big bulky mess. Let's find a neutral point here. Settle it back. Now let's get some water and we'll use this neutral point to make that the folding parting and pinch. Part and pinch, a little rock back and forth, help align them, part and pinch. And I give the shoulder a good hard pinch at the bottom so they have, it has a nice small base so I can tightly wind all this forward. It's like any hackle, you want it nice and tight right in front of each other. Not on top of each other, but just in front of each other. Just moving forward and constantly sweeping back. Run it right up and underneath that head. Now you notice how the cone's still a little floppy. Instead of adding something behind it, I didn't make the dubbing loop long enough, I'm going to go right in front of it and force it back. And that way it's tight against that, the forward shoulder. And then we'll whip finish up here. toothbrush at this point to just brush it up this forward hackle out and forward. Get everything picked out here. Back. I'm just going to take this in there. 
Make sure I got everything, anything that's tied down. Okay, so let's release these. Let's take this whole thing forward. And I prefer my hook to ride up, so all I'm going to do is it's in the right position, take the tubing, stick it over the end, and push it way up against the shoulder, really tight. Bring the hook back up. And in this case, <clears throat> you see that all right? <clears throat> I've got these tape ends, so I'm just going to cut those off right at them. But you'll notice that the, the legs are two completely different sets and different lengths, and that's what I'm looking for, not to add land in the same place. Brush that out. There. We have an ultra squid. Kapadunk. And there we go. Ultra squid. And my favorite black and orange.